Once slotted as America's favorite frog, this four-legged amphibian has traded his signature green for an orange jumpsuit. Follow along with us tonight in an exclusive interview with Kermo the Frog as we discuss the perils of fame and why it's not so easy being green. More with us tonight. I'm called to wrong kind in this three minutes. So Kermo, tell us, how'd you go from being one of the most employed actors in Hollywood to getting your meals in solitary confinement? Well, Coulter, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'm a victim of Hollywood. They chew you up and they spit you out. You know what? I need to start from the beginning. We had just wrapped in Rainbow Connection, and I was heading back to my trailer. When all of a sudden, I heard them. My wife and my best friend were making bacon, if you catch my drift. It didn't help that their mics were still hot. So when I found out, so did the rest of the set. It was humiliating. Oh, oh Fuzzy! Oh, you're so good at that! Oh. After that, I just kind of snapped. My best friend and my wife, it was a walking cliche. How did you cope? <laughs> Phenomenal is one hell of a drug. I couldn't get through a scene without a hit, but I th don't think many people noticed. You call that acting, you stupid meatball? Go back to Scandinavia. Who the f*** do you think you are? Cut the cameras! Cut the goddamn cameras! <laughs> Chef, what's going through your head right now? That yeah, mother dog, man. You can speak English? Of course I can speak English. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I'm a four-star Michelin chef. Monster testimonial, take 12. So, is this behavior new to set? Come on, yes. Monster, no. Come on, no in control. Monster, don't come on, go real. Monster then revealed that, quote, Kermo go trial, unquote. What follows is an excerpt from the court proceedings. Kermo, you're charged with one count of attempted vehicular manslaughter, driving under the influence, and assaulting a police officer. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Any regrets? Regret? What a funny word. The only regret I have is that I didn't finish them all off. You're all animals. All of you. Two weeks after our exclusive with Kermo, he shaw shanked his way off of the world's most highly secured prison. After evading the police, Kermo was finally found at the apartment shared by Fuzzy the Bear and now ex-wife, Mrs. Pocky Bear. His body was discovered at approximately 6.15 a.m. Was he pushed or did he jump in a blind fit of passion? Find out how he croaked next week on 3 Minutes. <laughs>